Around the globe, there's approximately 22 million refugees, and I'm one of them. But what does that mean? What exactly does being a refugee mean? The 1951 Genova Convention on Law, which was created in response to the mass persecution and displacement after World War II, clearly states that a refugee is someone who has been forced, forced to flee their country because of persecution, war, or violence. Now that we have established what it means to be a refugee, I want to tell you a story, a story of the journey of a refugee. In other words, I want to tell you my story. I come from a country in the Horn of Africa called Somalia, a once beautiful and historical nation now under a terrible war. My once beautiful country has now become fragile, fragile and plagued with conflict and chaos as rival militia grew battle for control. With each passing day, the bombs got louder and my home was turned into a rubble. Home was not home anymore. It was a battlefield. The time came when we had to choose, when we had to choose between home and survival. And our choice got us in a dangerous road with uncertain outcomes. It was our journey to a refugee camp. As a kid, I remember being scared, being scared to die. But I knew the only way to survive was by risking my life. After the long and perilous journey, we arrived at Kakuma refugee camp. The camp represented immense human suffering and human degradation. There was no sustainable access to food, medical care, or education. We spent our days in the temporary tent, dreaming of the day our home will be safe to go back to, or hoping for a resettlement in a third country. But hope of going back home was shattered by the bombs. However, hope of resettlement in a third country was not. After many years in the camp, I was approved to, the, to come to the United States. I was the lucky 1%. I was overjoyed to come to the United States, not because of the opportunities it provided or because of my lifelong love for McDonald's, <laughs> but simply, but simply because I just needed a summer break, a summer break from the struggle. But soon, my summer break was ruined. Ruined by racism, sexism, Islamophobia, xenophobia. You know all those first world problems. Apparently, it was, not being cool. it was not cool being a black Muslim refugee woman. Shocking, right? As refugees, we know struggle, and struggle knows us. But we also know hope and resilience. We resist and transcend the difficulties and are determined to survive. We're not passive victims, we're active resistance. We refuse to conform to death, we choose to live, but not only to live, but to live humanly. I believe being a refugee is a test for me, but I also believe it's a test for you, a test of your humanity. The biggest question today is how we treat refugees and how we respond to the inhumane ways they are treated. How much more pain, how much more suffering, how much more atrocities, how much more genocide do we need in order to say enough is enough? What happened to our humanity? We have advanced so much in technology, but regressed in our humanness. We're consumed by our divisions and dogmas. We're more connected than ever. Therefore, there is no excuse for ignorance and silence in the face of genocide. But despite all of this, but despite all of this, I do not believe people do not care. Or maybe I do not want to believe people do not care. I think people want to help, but they do not know how to. First, each of us has a responsibility, a responsibility to humanity, a responsibility to refugees. Therefore, we can no longer be silent. We can no longer watch oppression and genocide. We need to be humans. We need to make sure survivors do not arrive at closed borders. We need to heal refugees, not re-traumatize them. We need to provide refugees with opportunities of human, human flourishing. We need to empower refugees to be the agents of peace and justice. We need to raise awareness of what is happening today in Syria, in Burma, and to the other millions of refugees. So let's speak against, resist against, and stand against oppression in all its forms. Let's rise up together. Thank you.